Yuan T uh, living in the nearby jungle. The party tracked uh, the Yuan T back to their hideout and descended down into their uh, subterranean lair. Uh, fought some different types of Yuan T. Uh, got uh, got some nice information about uh, the cloaked serpent as a whole, as well as his relationship with uh, a few other gods: uh, the Moonweaver, the Walking Wolf, and the Dawn Father. Uh, and then uh, the party. Uh, trying to look for the captured Ashari, uh, found themselves in a small throne room where a uh, giant snake man uh, with many snake heads coming out of his uh, shoulders um, and his Yuan T subordinates uh, attacked them. Uh, it was a rough fight, but the party came out on top. Uh, and I believe there was talk of taking some sort of rest. Yep, we had started to. Hopefully. Which, uh, short rest or long rest? Long? Yeah, I was like, I feel like it was a long, long rest. we can. Yeah, if we just get a short rest, then that's fine. But... I'm really shooting for that long rest. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> aiming for the long rest here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, I believe it was Spark that uh, decided to uh, search the uh, the big mini snake guy. The uh, you yeah, I was, I was looting all the bodies. Yeah, all that's right. right. You said there was uh, something special. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember if I made you roll for it. I, yeah, look I like didn't it. roll anything. All right, then go ahead and make an investigation check. Okay. Investigation and guidance. 18. All right, 18. Nice. <clears throat> so um, you don't find guidance. much. <laughs> yeah. That was a good guidance. Uh, you don't find much on these guys. Um, I'd say you find like 300 golds worth of uh, jewelry on them. Okay. Um, most of that being on the main guy. Yeah. Um, uh, they all have standard scimitars uh, that have like a snake motif on the handle and a little bit up the blade. Um... The Can I tell if those guy, are worth anything? Uh, not anything more than, like, a regular scimitar. It's, yeah. Pretty simple? It's pretty simple, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> On the main guy, in addition to his, uh, um, to the jewelry that you find on him, you also find, um, a interesting-looking amulet that uh, kind of stands out from the rest of the jewelry, um, where the rest of the jewelry was kind of like uh, all golden. This one ha uh, has a silver chain, and uh, at, at the center of the amulet is a um, solid black gem that you... Not even entirely sure what type of gem it is. It's completely, and as you kind of peer into it, um, it seems as black as a bottom of it. Interesting. All right, I'll put it in my pocket. All right, cool. And then you guys shoved all the dead bodies against the throne and tried to hide behind them. <laughs> yes. Sounds accurate. We're <laughs> uh, helpful in that endeavor as well. All right. Well. <laughs> we failed. We're really, really good at this, guys. Um, the best. Yeah. 
so as you're taking your rest, um, you can hear movement coming from one of the staircases. Uh, I need everybody to roll a stealth check. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, oh yeah. yes. <laughs> That's one thing Ophelia is good at. Badass. Hey, not, hey! not awful. <laughs> Really committed Oof. to this hiding and sleeping thing ah. right now. <laughs> that disadvantage, though. <laughs> and it's still better than me. <laughs> hey. Everybody rolled better than me, and I have a plus five. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Uh, <laughs> I quit. That's it, I'm done man. with D&D. &D. <laughs> I'm about done with this character. All right. So... <clears throat> Um, as you're all sitting there with bated breath trying to get your, um, powers back, uh, you hear coming from one of the staircases, uh, some voices talking in a language you don't understand, um, and as they come into the room and see the pile of dead bodies, um, they, uh, they start freaking out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds uh, there's warranted. Calls of uh, they they call back up the staircase, and uh, a couple seconds later, uh, it sounds like more have have arrived. And <clears throat> how long has it been since we started resting? Uh, about forty five minutes. Damn, but we didn't quite get arrested. Nope, not a short one. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, and uh, as they get closer, um, and you're all trying to stay silent, um, uh, <clears throat> what's the best way to describe this? Um, as you're all sitting there, um, <laughs> so in this room, it's kind of, uh, there's kind of like a constant golden glow from the uh, torchlight, um, of well, not torchlight, from uh, like the braziers in this room. And mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, the light seems to be bouncing off of those with, uh, heavy metal armor um, and making uh, small patches of brighter lights uh, on the stone of the ceiling, which uh, is enough to draw the attention of these creatures to make them aware of your presence. So, I would like everybody to <laughs> roll initiative as I put these guys on the board. <laughs> oh boy. Relax. <laughs> I'm like, well, we killed the big baddie, so. Well, don't roll yet. I I literally turn. have nothing. I have one second level spell <laughs> Hey, me too. <laughs> I have arrows. I have yeah, no exactly. We've, we've still got dark. We're fine. I've got a rock. <laughs> I've got a job of debt! <laughs> hey, I technically have poison arrows. I'm not doing awful, actually. I got one first level, one second level, one third level, two fourth level, and my fifth level still. Christ almighty child. Use some of those spells. I'm just gonna hide behind all of these bodies and take pot shots with fireball. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's my plan. Hey, not a bad plan. There we go. Good job, Ophelia. Seems uh, accurate. I'm still waiting for the turn or turn order. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it goes on there whether the turn order is up or not. Oh, I was like, I had to wait. Um. I'm I'm gonna jump off and jump back on a Discord real quick because uh, I was getting robot voices from everybody. So okay. we'll be right back. Alrighty. Make sure to update it. 
All right. Rain of feeling hurt. Uh, that I was as well. like. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not working better. Um, how do you change the server? What? Oh yeah, you can change the. Uh... I realize that that does not help. Oh, here it is. U.S. Central. Everybody just start talking monotone and really mess with him. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm Ophelia. How are you? <laughs> no difference. <laughs> well, Ophelia <laughs> sounds fine, but everybody else sounds different. <laughs> quick, quick question. Nah, never mind. I won't ask that. Um... So I I changed I don't I don't know I changed out of uh US Central and then back into US Central so hopefully that 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 will be fine I don't know Guess we'll see Yeah I guess As long as it works Yeah <clears throat> Hey Baron rolled pretty well All right. The last two weeks, my rolls have been crap. <laughs> All right. Well, Spark, you are first. All right. <sighs> this will be fun. Farron still needs to name his token. What's up? No. Oh. <laughs> Just so it shows up in the turn order. Well, seeing as how we uh, are definitely given uh, away, I go running out to this guy, and I'm just gonna hit him with my flail. All right. Woo! And I moved twenty feet. So him and the guy right here take six points of lightning damage. And I'm gonna right. push them both ten feet away. Nice. That's that. Uh, the lightning affects both of them. Yep. Okay. So whenever you do lightning damage. No. Yeah. I I wasn't yeah. sure. I couldn't remember if it if yeah, the boots gotta... affect the guy you're hitting too. Yep. All right. Cool. And how many feet does it push them back? Ten feet. Say that again. Ten, ten feet. All right. Thank you. I heard feet, and then it's like, yeah, oh, all right, too. cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that your turn? Yep. Cool. Actually, uh, I'm going to move 10 feet back. All right. Up to this one, draw a sword and attack. That's a hit. That's a miss. And then he will... Yeah, he'll, he'll go around to that guy and shield bash the other guy. See if he can give advantage on both of them. Probably not. Who knows? Maybe I'll roll shit. <laughs> All right. He is not able to shove the guy on the left, but melee attacks within five feet of the guy on the right have advantage. All right, which brings us to Dark. Hmm, what to do? I can still shoot from back here, right? Uh, yeah, you... I'd say you might have to like climb on top of the bodies, but because I didn't take the time to draw it, we'll just say that it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's not hard to, I guess. That'll be my first target. All right. God damn it. <laughs> 
Keeping up the trend. <laughs> Against the guy behind him. All right. That one will hit for 26 points of damage. Nice. Second shot. Uh, to the first guy again. And that will hit for 21 points of damage. And that's you mean the snake men are immune to poison? What? <laughs> what is the sorcery? It's not like you guys had an annoying player who would rub that in your face every chance you got or anything. What? No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry? What? That person Never. exists? What? <laughs> that was no. a person? That person right. wouldn't message me every week and tell me. <laughs> These two will come up to Spark <laughs> and attack him. <laughs> the one um to your left spark uh you can see has the lower body of a snake. So he's going to try and constrict you. Okay. What's your AC? 20. All right. Uh, and he does so. So you are wrapped up in the, uh, the snake's lower body, and uh, you are grappled and restrained until you are able to break free. Uh, with his second attack, he is going to attack you with his scimitar at advantage, because you're restrained. Okay. <clears throat> and that is a critical hit. Okay. Um, oh, did I tell you the uh, the damage for the first attack? Nope. All right. Then both of those together comes out to 17 points of damage. All right. And then the second uh you on t attacking you you can see um he's got the body of a man but his arms are just snakes and so his snake arms are going to bite at you okay uh one of them will hit dealing okay. uh seven piercing and six poison total of 13 all right and I'm going to use my reaction against him to hit him with Wrath of the Storm. All right, so he needs to make a deck save. And <clears throat> I would consider this. So he has damage. 